Did someone say road trip? Yeah! On this episode of Down Days, we leave old San Juan behind. Travel to the center of the island in search of Puerto Rican moonshine. Bomb it to Rincon for waves and take it to the trees for a little R&R. This is Down Days. Hey, I'm Tanner, and these are my brothers, Pat and Dave. We are pro surfers. We travel, and we are on a mission to explore the world. Next on the list, Puerto Rico. It is super tempting to only stick to the coast, but if you're gonna hit the road in Puerto Rico, a trip through the lush Cordillera Central Mountains is a must. I would say this is probably the most windy switchback jungle road I've probably ever driven. It's kind of it's kind of sick because it's lined with these like huge bamboo blasters. They all just come out of nowhere and kind of starburst over the the Camino Starburst Street. If you're leaving from Old San Juan, headed toward the west side of the island, there are three basic options: the quick dip, the north to south, or the jungle mission. Tres Palmas is definitely like the big wave spot, and then it, like Maria is gonna be just real rippable and fun. Maybe some barrels. Really? Really? The south of the island has a ton of culture and scenery with towns like Ponce and San Germain. La Ruta Panoramica is the scenic of scenic routes, but the tiny winding roads can be tricky, so definitely bring a good map. It's like a Pirates of the Caribbean vibe, like you just, ah, you feel like you're in the jungle with all these like wild bohemian vibes. In the mountains, there are all kinds of little roadside stands and restaurants that are great for a break from the winding roads. Taking the scenic route into the mountains adds a few hours to the trip, but it's the best way to sample the real flavor of the island. You know what, that was perfect because it's like, you know, if you're driving the road, it's it's a little bit windy and it's nice to just grab it a beer. Yeah, just like, enjoy the view. Like, oh yeah, that was perfect. So we're literally like climbing straight to the top, the middle of Puerto Rico. Is the rum distillery going to be actually here? So yeah, we're going to Puerto Rico, Petty Boy. Pito. It's a it's a sick, it's a home style brewery of a alcohol with rum, but it's kind of like a moonshine. So either way, you're gonna get pickled, boy. Oh man. I am Jose Luis Cruz Cruz. I am the owner of this distillery, Pito Rico Rum. Pito Rico is a small distillery that produces a type of rum called Pitoro, which is higher proof and basically kind of like moonshine. Pitoro rum is called to the original moonshine of Puerto Rico, but made out of sugar cane. Even though Pitoro rum is very popular in Puerto Rico, until just a couple years ago it was illegal. Now, legal Pito Rico is doing it right. Pito Rico is the only legal clean Pitoro distillery in Puerto Rico. So you're pretty much like a, are you the, like a mad scientist? This is like a full little science experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. see, there is a big laboratory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I decided to start Pito Rico because I want to give to the people a pitorro, which is cultural, but with flavor, without chemicals, a rum that people can enjoy. Well, now that I explain to you how this works, it's time for you to taste and let me know if you like it or not. Aside from the high octane bad boy, fruits are used to create a bunch of different flavors like coconut, orange, and sangria. This is the highest proof, this is the 106. It's uh, the 53% alcohol, it's 106 proof. Uh, it smells good, it's still got the flavor scent, the aroma if you will. Damn boy? Pitoro. Pitoro. Okay. That 
is pure strength. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Thank you. Vaya. Yeah, yeah. Ricardo. Yeah, Dave Way. Muchas gracias. Thank you. No, <laughs> they're watching. Oh, that was weak. You just left. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's actually it's really good. It's, it's clean. Whip it. Yeah. Whip it. Solid. Oh, hey. Almost on the R's are going. Yeah, you have one shot of this. Your R's are going. It's perfect. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Now I'm warm. Now I'm a little sweaty. After tasting the goods, the crew at Pito Rico went huge with lunch, complete with a pig roast and a band. Oh yeah, baby. People are psyched. The beaches are so beautiful. Darren, I just talked to him. He's so pumped. He's like, hey, all the crew is psyching. No way. No way. The swell is going to be up and pumping. He said, get on it early and we're going to have the best time ever because it's going to be on. Rincon kind of felt like an undiscovered gem. It's on the east side of the island and has a killer vibe. There's a bunch of spots to surf and great places to eat and drink. And while it's a tourist zone, it definitely doesn't feel like it. Epic! We just rolled up in the parking lot of Rincon. We met up with Darren. My name is Darren Machette. I'm from Rincon, Puerto Rico. I work here at a surf camp called Road to Happiness. And I also compete in all the local surfing events. Yeah, it's a perfect little right point break. Water looks about 70 degrees, the air feels about 80. <laughs> I thought you'd take a shortcut. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> Dangerously. Out. Yeah, yeah. Darren's a legend. They literally call him legend. The surf looks so fun, the lighting's insane, the conditions are mental. So Rincon is a point. There's a north side of the point and a south side of the point. On the south side you have domes, indicators, marias, dogmans, and trace palmas. Um, on the north side of the point you have Sandy Beach, Pools Beach, Parking Lot, and River Mouth. Surf season in Rincon starts the beginning of November and goes through about the end of May. Um, but the best time to come down, I would say, is between November and March is the, is the peak of our season. Pretty much the waves are longer than like. Like J Bay, it looks like a point like J Bay, but it's broken up into a bunch of different little spots. So you kind of get the mojo, find your mojo wherever you want. Uh, Darren this morning took us out and we surfed with the legend himself, and there were so many fun waves, it was insane. The crew actually out the back was just so friendly, and the boys were all hooting for each other. So now we're up here chilling out, kind of overlooking the whole scene, and uh, it's incredible. It's absolutely gorgeous. Nice day for it, you know. I think we got really lucky with the swell kind of hitting on the on the one day that we were here in Rincon, and you can tell you can feel the energy and, and the way the wave breaks is really fun. So we got a couple, I think. Maybe you never know. One or two. We're just back in the car. We're going for the lunch with the uh, the legend himself, Mr. Darren Machette. We just tracked waves for like four hours. I'm so sunburned, totally dehydrated. Gonna need a cold medallion light to get me through this one. After the session at Rincon, we went to a rad little lunch spot up the road called Happy Bowls. This is the place if you want an insane lunch that is fast, healthy, and delicious. Oh baby boys, 
We're about to get the rum drum cooking up in the treehouse in Rincon, huh? I am so psyched. I've never in my life spent the night in treehouse. In the jungle near Rincon are these rad little tree houses called hooches. The accommodations are basic, but a killer place to kick off your shoes for a night or two. Boys, when is the last time you had an ice cold brewski <laughs> at the top of a tree house looking at this? Come on. I'm Joe Shear. I build bamboo tree houses and I live here in Rincon, Puerto Rico. This is 100% the best view I've ever seen in my life. We have three hooches, which are, you know, are, are tree houses. They're made entirely out of bamboo, which we grow here on the land. They're self-contained. They have they produce their own energy, solar energy. They're solar. They have solar heated water. Uh, they have their own kitchenette. They have a queen size bed, and what keeps them stable is uh, cables to the surrounding trees, um, and and hurricane proof as well. But the new one is the Buddha hooch where the three dudes are staying, and, uh, and uh, that's huge and uh, quite deluxe. From the beginning to the end, it's just been a wild ride. Dude, that was all time. The Salsa Man's saying, personal favorite, T-Boy. Kind of took the cake from you. Whoa, so you up. and bacon, baby. I don't I'm know. rummed up. Oh, come on, Get me bro. rummed up already. <laughs> right, Cheers, boys. Cheers, boys. Cheers, Cheers you! Oh, Whoa. Mm. Check it out. This is down days. <laughs> way off on that one, that's sick though.